You know, as a child, I always loved old things. Whether it's an antique book that smelled of history or a yellowed map, Maybe that's why I fell in love with history, because there's something about the past that can teach the present about how to go into the future. I was actually named for a pilgrim, John Bunyan's The Pilgrim's Progress. Christian is the main character. And so I've seen my life as, as a pilgrimage from one thing to another. Uh, and my pilgrimage in 2008 led me to Scotland. I wanted to go to a place uh, full of history. I wanted to go to a place where uh, God had done something uh, great in history. Uh, and so we, my wife and I spent three years in St. Andrews, which is a city built on stones and, and bones. And during the last year, I stumbled across a collection of Charles Spurgeon's earliest sermons. It was a collection of sermons that in 1857 he himself tried to publish, but his dream never materialized. And so my first instinct was to fulfill Charles Spurgeon's wish. And of course, the pilgrimage to publication uh, hasn't been easy. Uh, there have been enormous hurdles and obstacles in the way. In 2013, uh, I actually almost passed away when my appendix ruptured, uh, and I didn't find out for a, about a full month. Uh, and during that season of suffering, one of Spurgeon's earliest sermons had a profound impact on me. And one line in that sermon said this, Think much on grace, Christian. And over the last seven years, I've seen the rotations of a thousand gears of grace turning in a strange but providential synergy to make this publication a reality. The whole publication is a work of grace. And the ultimate aim is to look not just to Charles Spurgeon, but through Charles Spurgeon to Jesus Christ.